Wait, were you expecting me to speak? Oh. Alright, well on that note, let me offer my main thoughts and takeaways about Millard Fillmore. This is my third video made for this series, and it hardly escapes one how each president began his life with limited literacy, or with a learning disability, and each man overcame it resoundingly. This leads to my next point. Persisting in spite of, and even because of, adverse circumstances. Turn adversity into an advantage. Number three. Struggle not alone, least of all with a loving spouse on hand to lift you up. I didn't explore Wilson's wives as a wellspring of his willpower, but both Johnson and Fillmore drew immeasurable strength, first to become literate, then to pursue their path in politics because of their wives. Fourthly, a lesson for our own troubled times. It seems hard to act as a uniter and avoid ending up divisive to some degree. Johnson illustrates this too much. More to come on that theme. Fifth, and finally, know where you came from and let it guide you throughout your life. Johnson's Taylor networking as president speaks well to this, as does Fillmore's reply to his biographer. I have frankly stated the facts connected with my early history, and as no man is responsible for the circumstances of his birth, they furnish nothing of which he should be ashamed or proud, and therefore while they require no apology, they can justify no boasting. Of course, to then append, I need hardly add that this letter is not intended for publication. Oops. Politicians don't escape publication, they attract it. But between Fillmore's retirements at the peak of power and his reply to Oxford, it's heartening to know that a political figure can be both ambitious and humble. And of course, this video would not be complete without recognizing the result of this turn of events, a truly unique comic strip character. So remember, when life isn't all it's quacked up to be, you can always live life still to the full, and you can always enjoy your film more. On that note, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. It's been a year in the making, as it turns out, and I certainly look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you all.